Hey, you Psych2Goers. What kind of friend do you think you are? What role do you play in your group? Within every group of friends, no one is exactly like the other. And that's the best part of friendships. Take the quiz below to know what kind of a friend you are. Instructions. Keep track of what letter you choose for each question. There will be 10 questions. If you can't choose between two options, choose the one which resonates with you the most. Let's start. Number one, your friend just won a critical match. How would you like to celebrate? A, tell them how awesome they are and that you're proud of them. B, prepare a present that they always wanted to get. C, invite them out for dinner. Or D, throw a party for your friend. Number two, your friend crashes at your place feeling down. How would you comfort them? A, you let them vent it out and give them advice. B, empathize with your friend and give them a warm hug. C, crack jokes to make them laugh and cheer them up. Or D, invite them up for a night out to have a break and let loose. Number three, what is one of your pet peeves with friends? A, being bothered in your alone time. B, careless and immature behavior from your friends. C, your friend saying pessimistic comments about everything, being negative. Or D, your friends canceling on plans. Number four, you're on call with a mean customer service representative who won't exchange a defective product for a better one. What would you do? A, request to talk to a higher official to know what you could do to exchange the product. B, understand their position and try to convince them to give you a better product. C, give up, you can try next time. Or D, sweet talk them into getting the exchange. Number five, what is your way of enjoying yourself with friends? A, stay up late to have deep conversations with your friend. B, anything is fun as long as I'm with my people. C, pulling pranks on each other or watching movies together. Or D, traveling to new places together. Number six, what do you expect from your friends? A, respect each other's boundaries. B, they share similar values and can understand you so well you can be yourself around them. C, they have the same uplifting vibe. Or D, they encourage me to become a better person. Number seven, if you had to describe yourself in a single word, what word would you choose? A, honest. B, responsible. C, witty. Or D, adventurous. Eight, you have to organize a school event. What role would you choose? A, the financial advisor. B, the events manager. C, the marketing head. Or D, the leader. Number nine, a conflict broke out in your group. What do you do? A, wait until they calm down to talk it out later. B, try to talk to them and understand their perspective to settle the matter peacefully. C, let them be. It's good to let your anger and frustration out rather than keeping it bottled up. Or D, jump in to stop the argument before it becomes worse. And number 10, while shopping, you realize you don't have enough money to buy everything on the list. What would you buy with the remaining amount? A, buy as many things possible from the list. B, items in the list your friend warned you not to get. C, treat yourself by buying what you had been long waiting for. Or D, bargain with the shop owner to get the best deal to buy everything. Results. Okay, all tallied up. Here is the type of friend you are, according to the letter that appeared the most. The rational friend. If A's appeared the most, you are the intellectual one amongst your friends. You are someone who tends to enjoy their own company and doesn't like being disturbed in their alone time. You know a little about everything and probably aced most exams, but you always remain modest and humble. There are certain situations in life when everyone needs to hear the harsh truth and since you don't sugarcoat your words, your brutally honest, straightforward responses turn out to be the best advice in times of difficulty. You sure are an indispensable friend. The compassionate friend. If B appears the most, you are the motherly figure in the group. You're empathetic, understanding, caring, and kind. You are the one your friends turn to for reassurance when things take an unexpected turn. Somehow only you seem to know how to handle the situation well. You are always ready to listen to them and ensure they are doing well. Yes, your friends might complain about you pressuring them to develop healthier habits, but they understand that's how you express your love for them. So it's no surprise their parents trust you the most. The comic friend. If C appears the most, you are the comedian of your group. 
You're the go-to person when someone is feeling down. You know how to cheer them up as you're cheerful and a bubble of energy yourself. Spreading laughter and joy gives you a sense of fulfillment. You also enjoy pulling pranks on your friends. That's just a way to show them how much you value them. In a social setting, people enjoy your company because your confidence and optimistic attitude is contagious. You manage to turn every situation stress-free and happy. No wonder you're the most awaited person at a party. The connector friend. If D appears the most, you are the link that connects your friends. You're charismatic, bold, and have excellent communication skills that help you blend in with any group of people. Being the peacemaker, you are the first to resolve a conflict in the group. You often express how important they are to you and make plans for a meetup. You're always on your own adventure, one day jumping off a cliff to swim in the sea, the other day volunteering at a childcare center. You're always asking the others to join you, from making plans for the weekend to going on a road trip. You're the only one taking the initiative to hold the group of friends together. And your adventures may seem reckless or wild to them, but you always keep them wondering what the next one will be. What type of friend did you get? Have we missed anything? If your results were accurate, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video if you had fun taking the quiz. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Make sure to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.